Hello, welcome to Cami Designs, and today I'm going to show you crocheting with cotton yarn, and this is from the Dollar Tree, so this is just, it's premiere just cotton, um, you can get this at the Dollar Tree for a dollar and a quarter now, um, and the thing I like to crochet with cotton yarn is pot holders, um, washcloths, um, coasters, anything that um, possibly might get wet. So this is one I've started, and this is with a cotton yarn, but it's not a Dollar Tree yarn, but it is cotton. So this is a pot holder. So it's going to be double thickness, um, which for a pot holder you want, so it's you don't get burnt. <laughs> um, and there are a few ways you can do this. You can go like this and then it would, you would just stitch along here and it would be done but I made it a little small so what I'm going to have to do with this one is just add on to here but let's get started I'll show you how to do it and you can get it in different you can get the yarn in different colors here but I think I'm going to do a pink one just because I like the color pink so I'm gonna zoom you out here and let me find the end here somewhere. Here it is. And you just want to do a basic chain. And I'm going to chain, let's do 35. And I'm using an H hook. Let's see if I can. It's an H9, and it's, or H8, sorry, and it's five millimeter. And let's see, how many do I have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen. There's 20. And this pattern is done using just single crochet, but I think that's 25. We'll do 30, because that's pretty long. Because this one was done with 25 so I'm going to count it just to make sure 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Okay, so we did 30. Now I'm going to do just two extra just so I can go back into the second chain from the hook so I can go into my 30 and I want to just single crochet and I'm just doing the back loop only because it makes it a little easier when I go to do the other side of the chain here I get some yarn okay we just want to keep single crocheting in each stitch to the end. Let me zoom you in a little bit here. Okay, I changed the lighting a little bit to see if we can see this better. Okay, I just want to continue to single crochet all the way down my chain here. And then you'll be, instead of turning and working back the other way, you're going to work along the other side, the underside of the chain. 
and I'll show you that when we get there. I'm trying to go slow. My husband says I go tend to go too fast. So I'm trying to slow it down here. Okay, here. And don't worry, it will kind of curl a little bit. But that it works its way out. I just want to keep sing single crochet and that's just into the stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. And this is a good beginner project for anybody who is just getting into crocheting because it doesn't use a whole lot of stitches and it's fairly easy to to take out if you mess up. So I'm almost there. Okay. Now when I get to my end here, I'm going to want to put a here, I'll show you. It's easier to show. Okay, so I'm at this last stitch here, which is the first chain I did. And I want to single crochet twice in this side and then I'm going to go to the back side so the bottom of it so I'm now working on this side of the chain and I want to do one in that first one so there's technically three right there and I just want to single crochet in the rest of my chain here. So along the underside of my chain, I'm just going to single crochet all the way down. And this cotton yarn seems to work, you know, crochet really well. And I really like these pot holders. My mom used to make pot holders all the time. I have like three or four of hers that she made me. Um, you can use acrylic, but beware that with the heat it could melt. Um, so that's why it's best to use cotton yarn. Um, you don't have to use Dollar Tree. This is just the cheapest I have found it for just a simple pot holder. It works nice. So you just keep crocheting around. And you can see the twist is slowly coming out of it. And then I'm almost to the end. And then I want to do two single crochets in the end. So, almost there. You might be able to hear my five year old. He's really excited. I don't know if he's watching a video game or if he's playing with his cars, but he's doing something in his playroom. <laughs> He's very excited about it. <laughs> okay. Almost to the end here. Okay. Now I'm in the last one, so I want to do two in this last stitch here. So it's basically three. And this is the first one I did right here. So I want to slip stitch to this one. And sometimes it's easier to have a stitch marker so you can keep track of your beginning of your row. So what I'll do is I'll slip stitch it into this first one 
which is just yarn over, pull through, and then I pull through that first one. And then I'm going to put this right here onto this loop that is currently on my hook right now. And I just want to um, do a single crochet, just single crochet around, keep going around. And you just want to keep going. And by working in a round like this, you're slowly, because right here is my chain on the original one. And I did two rows of increases, and then I would just work single crochet all the way around. So to do the decrease, or the, sorry, the increase on this one, you'll want to put two in this middle single crochet in this one here. And I will show you that if I can get to it here. So just single crochet. And I'm trying to go slow, but my hands tend to want to work faster. <laughs> so I'm just single crocheting. And I'm not doing back or front. I'm just doing a regular single crochet. And I know it doesn't look like much, but if you, if you think it's going to be double thickness, it works pretty good. And the reason I wanted to make some powders is because the ones my mom made me are getting a little old and I could use some new ones. And cotton yarn is washable, but your label on your yarn will tell you what it's, you know, washable. This is machine wash, warm, tumble dry, low heat. Um... And this is 104 yards, so I'll definitely be able to get a whole pot holder out of one. Um, and like I said, you can make coasters, you can do all kinds of things with cotton yarn. Um, it does have a different feel than um, what acrylic would. Okay, so now I am here at this middle one. So here, my next stitch will be the middle, because I did one, two, total of three into this one stitch. So this middle one, I want to put two single crochets in. So, oops. There's one, two, and then just one in this one here. And then go around and then do the same thing at this one here, just before your beginning of the row. And then it's just single crochet all the way around. And... It depends on the size pot holder you want. Um, like with this one, this is, you know, this is, I did the same crochet hook. I just did 20, a chain of 25 and then just increased it on the two rows, like the pink one. Um, and most of them, when you start working around, they want to kind of fold in. So, like I said before, you can either fold it in half like this and make it this way larger. Or you can have it go corner to corner like this. But this one with 25, a chain of 25, it's kind of small. And by kind of, I mean it's small. <laughs> and... I have the tape measure here somewhere. 
and I could show you the actual length of it. I'm not sure where I put my tape measure at the moment. Here's one. Let me get it out of the bag. I haven't even used it yet. Okay. So, with a 25 chain and folding it corner to corner, it's only going to be not quite four and a half. Here, let me do that on camera. Not quite four and a half, maybe four inches. A little over four and a half. And that should be, yeah, about square. So it just depends on what you're, what you chain, how big it's going to be. And I will finish doing this one here. And like I said, it's just single crochet. It's really easy for beginners to do. Um... And to connect them in the triangle, you would just, let me get my hook here. So if I were to connect this, I could either cut this yarn and then just stitch it with the yarn needle or you can, let me get to the corner here. Oops. I like mine a little tighter here. And this, I'm not sure what brand of yarn this is. It was given to me and it was only a sh short amount. So I'm not sure. Um... So if I get to the corner here, which when you lay flat, you can kind of see where the corner is. One more, it looks like. I'll be in the corner. Okay, and when I work this next side, I'll just want to pinch it together here. And I want to just do, oops, right here. And it might be easier if I get to the next corner. Which isn't too bad. So single crochet all the way around. But then you want to hold it together and kind of slip stitch it. Or like I said, you could cut it and then just stitch it closed with a yarn needle. And the yarn needle looks like this. This is what I mean by a yarn needle. Okay, let's see. Right. Almost there. Okay. Okay, here. Okay, so now we're about at the corner, and so what I would do is I would just go into this one here, and then I would like turn it like I'm working back across this row, but I'm holding this together. So I'd go through this first stitch that I just, the last stitch I just did, and then the one across from it. And just slip stitch it. So then this stitch and then this stitch and just slip stitch it. Just like this. And then oops, it's a little bunched up, but there we go. See? And then it'll lay flat and you'll have a seam here. Or, like I said, you can cut it and stitch it. 
Now, if you are going to continue it this way, I would just do the same thing when you get to the end, hold it together and just slip stitch the end together. Okay. I'm just going to get to the end here and show you how to do the last increase and then that will call it a video. This one is a little longer and I'm only going to do one video this week. So I apologize for those of you who are following this slipper pattern. Um, I haven't had time to catch up on it. But I hope to have the next the next part of the slipper video out next week. So So I'm just single crocheting all the way to the end. Okay. Now, I'm at this end here, and this is the one that was the middle, so I did this one, one, two, three, so it's the second one here. I want to do two crochets, single crochets in here, and then one in this one, and then I'm on to my back to my beginning. So... I will slip stitch to this one and then hook my thing on here, my stitch marker, and then I will go on to start doing my single crochet. Just like this. And then now the next rows, um, it's just single crochet all the way around. You don't have to increase it anymore. Um, you just single crochet in every single stitch around. And it'll slowly start forming this pocket like this. Like that. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video on how to make a double thick pot holder. And using cotton yarn. And this, once again, you can find it at your local Dollar Tree for a dollar and a quarter. And it's roughly oh, 100 yards, a little more than 100 yards. And it comes in different colors. You can, this is green. Here's a pretty teal blue color. Um, and if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And I will um, show you this when it's done. And that's it. And, oh, one more thing. And once I reach a thousand subscribers, I will start giving away patterns from of my own design. And that's it. So have a great day and a wonderful weekend. Thanks. Bye.